Hey everybody, I'm uh, going to try to do a before video on my trail that I created back here. And I want a before video because the Moultrie guy is going to come this next week and hopefully flatten it out for me so it makes it much more passable. So uh, I'm going to run back at the beginning of it, which is like halfway back to property. And then the new part of the trail that I just finished is the other half. Then. We're going to take the shortest route. Uh, you know what? The shortest route's over that trail. Brassica coming up. Food plot over there coming up. That's starting to come up, but I think the canary grass is going to take over. Back behind this blind is going to be a new food plot mulched on the edge of the property. But it's not, it's going to be back a ways from behind that blind. The mulcher's going to have to go a long ways before he gets to where I want him to work. And when he finishes, he'll be a half a mile back. Okay. Last year, the mulching got us to this point, which we call the Hardwood Island, or the Turner Roundabout. This is the start of it. This is what I want to have mulched and flattened. It's kind of rough. One-handed on the quad, holding the camera. Oh boy! I broke a rule. I used the chainsaw up here by myself. I was careful. That would have been a big tree. starting to get into maples and way different country back here parts of the property that have never been utilized it's almost over half the property actually back here see we're up in, some, in the hardwoods now white birch yellow birch maple Hard maple, soft maple. There's some spruce back here. Some cedar. up in the air. Alright. All right. That was the before. And what's going to happen is, is this knob back here, I don't need to turn around yet. Um, if there's going to be a turnaround back here. We're still a good hundred yards from the end of my property that comes out on the transmission line, the corner up back there, but I don't want a trail to that point. I don't I don't want somebody coming down that transmission line seeing the, a trail going this way, so. But there's some uh, nice country back here. I'm looking forward to getting to know it. That right there is going to be the road out there's a road in which may or may not get used because that that drops down this is a hardwood peninsula that comes up this way and um, we came through a low spot and that low spot 
will probably be wet most of the time. But it's a short low spot, and if I can get a trail back here this time of year, every year I should be able to maintain it. That's a nice tree there. That's probably, I don't know, 14, 15 inch DBH. And there's quite a bit of it back here. And there's a few beach back here. Don't have any beach on the front to speak of. Okay. Next time I come back here, it's going to be for an after shot. I've got a camera. There's actually a trail that goes back through there that I found buck rubs and all kinds of sign on that we've never had up front. So I'm, this is still August, end of August. Basically, hopefully the mulcher comes tomorrow or the next day and uh, then I ain't coming back here anymore with the quad and stuff till after deer season or during deer season to hunt okay <laughs> this is so quick. He hasn't been here 15 minutes and he's got my trail flattened. Look at that. How nice.
Sounds like he found a rock. That was a dead big tooth aspen. Dave is my paintbrush. I consider this property my canvas. Honestly, that's the way I look at it. That's what happens when you're artsy fartsy. That's my property line on that tree and that tree. And that's uh, another 40 next to me.
don't like standing underneath this. And I don't think it's safe for him to knock down, so I'm not going to ask him to. I'm going to shoot it down with slugs. <laughs> Where'd this field come from? Look at that. Looks like my work begins now. Boy, does that smell unusual. It smells like that. Mixed with that. Mixed with that. Yesterday, today, That's why I make food plots and uh, hang out here, is to see things like that right there. Um, I suspect I'll be eating one of them later in the year. Uh, hey, thanks for looking in, and um, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing up here, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that bell so you get notified when I make a video or upload a video so either you can avoid it that way or you can come see it see you later 97 98 99 500 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 500, 523 paces. That's how many steps it is from the cabin back out to this food plot when actually it's that far twice. When you do something stupid like driving in seed and you think your ground clearance is more than it is and you get hung up on a rock. That's a big rock. So I had to go get the four-wheel drive quad, come back, 
pull the side by side off of that. Take the side by side back. And then walk back out to get the quad. That's all right. I can eat more that way. <laughs>